Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to cover from the 21st of today, uh, going to the 3rd of April. So let's have a little look and see what's going on for you guys for the next couple of weeks, okay? Let's see. For Pisces. Okay. I want to get two out. Why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, so there definitely is a new direction coming up for you guys. There is a big change that you're ready to make in terms of, again, where you're heading. This could be anything from home relocation, uh, moving. This could be anything from changing up your workplace, um, meaning changing jobs. I just feel like a direction that you've been going down, you are reaching a bit of like a, a crossroads, we call it. Uh, meaning that this can go two ways, either... In order to go down the route that you want to go down, you're going to have to let go of something either important to you or that you wanted to carry with you, or you keep what you're carrying, whatever that might mean, um, and you change the direction. But there is a need to change something here because it just feels like you've reached a crossroads. Uh, normally, when this energy comes up, we're kind of confused, you know, wanting, needing to make a decision, but not, not, not knowing. There we go not knowing which route to take you're stuck in a dilemma uh, and it could be literally this 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 decision that you have to make either leave something behind um and carry on going down this route or keep what it is that you have whatever that means and go down a different route with it because it almost feels like something's clashing here this could be people this could be friends this could be anything but for a lot of you it's either home or it's work okay um, let's see what else I can see within these cards. One thing I'm going to say is that this is just the beginning of some kind of transformation for you. I, I think that this is just, a, what, do you, what do you call it? The beginning of really kind of understanding yourself a little bit more. And whatever route you decide to go down, free will really does come through here. Some of you will take one. Some of you will go completely down the other way. I get a sense though that regardless of what you choose, there is some character building moments coming in. So some difficulty. Uh, usually what comes up after the change in the wind card is the chaos and conflict card. So don't be afraid when you hear that. It's only natural. Um, these moments help you to understand who you are in challenging situations and to help you build on things that we might need um, to build on. So it just challenges your... Uh, strengths and weaknesses here so that you can build on this so there's a lot of growth coming into your life Pisces but it's through making this decision uh, that you'll you'll recognize this okay and that you will go through this but it does feel like you've reached this crossroads of where you have to kind of make a decision to do something maybe you've been delaying this decision uh, but the change in the wind is literally blowing something off your back here something that is causing you to uh, maybe it's just too much responsibility that is needing to be gone for some of you again it's something that you're carrying that just needs that just can't fit with the journey you're going on but for some of you again I can see that you get to keep this but it just means you have to go down a different route uh, than what you expected so sometimes this can be challenging of course uh, especially if it's not going the way that you want it to or at the time you want it to but it is divine timing um try to see the silver lining because I do and I can tell that you're about to really embark on a new journey that seems really great for you but let's pull some tarot cards out to see to see what's going on I do see that this has something to do with foundations beautiful energy coming in here Pisces let's see what this is this could definitely be in a home space if you have children by the way it could be changing their schools you never, you never know let's see let's clarify for Pisces one more thank you Okay, two more then. Let's go for it. <laughs> Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands came through just then. Again, this is about what you're giving your time and energy to. No longer feeding into something conflicting, uh, into unhealthy competition. Maybe there's some jealous people around you or people who just want to create arguments, tension. Um, you're understanding that there is some place you're walking towards or maybe that you're surrounded by already that's causing too much of a friction in your life too much restriction in your life as well um and i think this is something that you need to get rid of this could even be internal conflict that you're no longer going to be giving to uh you know negativities and stuff like this excuses and stuff like this but the six of pentacles coming through one thing i will say is that you are prioritizing your health and mental health a lot more uh within this week and maybe even your work and your finances too I, it's to see that there is a need this is a card of charity by the way so you guys are givers pisces i think that you guys are very similar to virgos you're in opposite uh, ends of the chart here because I do believe that your uh, love language is acts of service you're very good at helping people giving people advice especially when they are conflicted within themselves 
one thing I'm sensing though is that I think that you've been giving way too much to certain people here who just aren't taking your help. I don't know what they mean when they say this, but the five of wands is always a round or round card, right? Um, people who are just swarmed by negativity and not willing to change this. And maybe these are the people that you're having to let go of or the thoughts that we're having to let go of, of, of things that don't seem to change despite whatever you do. Um, or again, no matter what you kind of give to this, it just feels like a, a bit of a, like an empty hole here. I don't know what I'm saying. This could be childhood friends or whatever. People that you feel like you have a connection with or a work situation again. Um, but I do see that there's a need to balance something out of what time and energy and maybe even money you're giving to people and what they're doing with it, okay? Um, but the Six of Pentacles, one thing I will say again is you are prioritizing your routines, you are prioritizing your growth in life, which is good. Some of you could come across someone who might help you out with that here, whether it's advice or a friend to motivate you or something, or again, it could be um someone through work it can be anyone in your life we'll just leave it general as a general reading the next card you have coming through is the six of cups so a soulmate connection coming through for you pisces and the four of wands which is a really beautiful connection coming through but again this could be great time for friendships uh connecting to old friends that you haven't sp spoken to for a while or again reconnecting with people um here making new friendships even as well there could be some cancer had this as well in their reading of like communities uh you might be meeting some new people through networking and stuff like this that um have very similar interests to you and goals uh the four of wands is also about some kind of celebration of a milestone so whether you, a friend is celebrating something within this week pisces that you're with them for um, it's a milestone in either your life or theirs, or again, this could be a family member. Uh, another thing I am seeing is that for some of you, there is a deepening of a connection here that could very well be romantic. With the Four of Wands, it's about coming together uh, as one. Uh, and this could be someone that you've known for a little while. Um, and it's just blossoming. I, I get that there's a lot of blossoming in this card. Both of these have a lot of flowers and fruits in it, so it is really good for growth again, okay? Let's talk about it even more, Pisces. Let's clarify the Four of Wands and Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords. So you could be getting some news here from somebody. Could be a mother figure. You never know. Unless you're the mother figure, Pisces. You have to speak about that. Um, it feels like there is some news coming in, Pisces. Of someone who, again, might be wanting to take things more seriously. They see your worth. They see your value. Uh, again, the Empress is ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. So this could very well be in your love life. Uh, the Knight of Swords coming in very quickly is a very direct message, um, which could be taking things further. Or again, just complimenting you. For some of you, it might be just that, um, which might help you understand someone's feelings even as well. Okay? Or it could work the other way around. If it's not um, them, it might be you. I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Devil. Hmm. Okay. Now there is, again, when the Devil comes through in a reading, it's not always bad, by the way. Don't get worried. It just means here that there is some responsibilities that uh, even need more of your time and attention. And there are some things that we do need to cut away from. And I will explain to you why. One thing I'll just say, uh, and it's not for everybody, so again, don't get scared when I'm saying this, but there is someone around you who might be, um, not maybe taking advantage of what you have to give. I, I kind of get that someone's, I say cheating, I don't mean this in a relationship, but I feel like um, someone could very well do something by themselves, but they're taking a very lazy route around it. This could be you, could be someone around you. I just say, again, pay attention to the time and energy. You trust your gut instinct. Uh, Pisces, you guys are best known for having that, a very strong intuition. Just be aware of this. If you have some suspicions about a person, then just be aware of that and try to create some space if you can. Even if you live with a person, I've been through that. Um, I get a lot of comments like this. It is still possible to detach from... The outcome of a situation, understand there's a lot of differences and that you would rather keep some kind of distance and inner peace here so that someone doesn't ruin that for you. Uh, because someone here could be trying to stir up an argument. Again, this is not going to be for everyone, but the five of wands here is just there's a little bit of a, a conflict here, some tension. Maybe you are the mediator here. I have to mention here, maybe there is... Um, some arguments going on around you and again you are giving these people advice this could be you up here pisces helping these people but at the end of the day they're always going to be like this 
that's what it feels like there is this, this dynamic that you can't help because it's very low vibe and pisces i want to say you're kind of above it which is why i think you might not completely understand why this keeps happening because this is like a round and round energy and maybe this is the change in the wind you kind of have to go a different um, route okay make a very logical decision here to cut ties with something or to move away from a situation all right anything else for pisces let's talk about the empress actually let's talk about the knight of swords first two of wands so someone could see a future with you here someone's wanting to give something to you but the two of wands is, is about looking at the um at the long term it's what you can make of a situation and for some of you this is expanding something it could be a business here again it could be uh, maybe relocating sometimes this is about traveling as well with the two of wands it's learning understanding that you have to leave an idea behind to start something new but this new thing is something that you're more passionate about and something that is able to expand it could be in like an online business here with the world um or again, something that you're able to actually turn into something more than what this original idea was or um, other option, okay? As we said in the beginning, this could be this challenge of making a decision of something, but one definitely has more potential to grow. And I think that it's really important that you discover what that is. And a two of wands is a really great card to remind you of planning, prepping, exploring, researching. And I think that you might find the answers within just that alone, okay? Anything else? anything else this could be something that you're working on with someone else could definitely be a great seed to plant great project or idea business all right anything else for places the knight of swords nine of cups wish fulfillment this is nice um, when the Nine of Cups comes through, again, this is about getting uh, a wish fulfillment. So something that you have asked for is coming back round again. I say back round again, it's coming towards you, okay? Uh, this could be anything. Again, this could be love. We have a lot of Venusian energy and soulmate connections here. Uh, but this can simply just be rewards for what it is that you're planning um, and working on here. So you will get the outcome that you are wanting. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get any. There is a sense of pride coming through, which I think is perfect for you because uh, one thing i have to mention here is that the empress when she comes up in a reading she is more about attracting rather than chasing and for some of you this might be how a relationship unfolds is because you are attracting rather than chasing anything someone seems like they're chasing you maybe a bit too quickly a bit too full on uh, but the nine of cups here is this is again the wish fulfillment something that you want is coming towards you here very interesting I like this. It feels great. I'm going to pull you out one of these cards, Pisces, and get you like a keyword and affirmation for the week. I just see you making very fair decisions this week. And I see the answers coming away, by the way, if that could be what the wish fulfillment means. So we have courage and change, which is literally what this is about. Sometimes it takes a lot of courage to make a very big change and transformation in your life. So this really goes with the theme. Uh, courage says here that I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And change says I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So you're wanting, a, well, you might be wanting it. Maybe it is what you're wanting. You're wanting a new direction, but you're having to make some kind of change or decision in order to get that. And I do see a positive outcome coming from this. So it all seems good for love, though, for Pisces, for those who are interested. We have Coffin here, so endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Let's get another few. We have Not Today, and we also have Heartbroken. So this does look like an end of uh, a relationship for some of you who are dealing with someone here. Um... Where maybe someone's not replying to your calls, or this could be you not replying to their calls. Regardless, whoever's on the receiving end of that uh, is a bit heartbroken here. Because I feel like there is a situation that you are either avoiding yourself, um, or someone else is avoiding. And it is causing a lot of pain and separation or something here. How interesting. So for the meeting new people, this feels like new love is on the horizon for you. But it does mean that there is... 
an ending of a situation and I get that you probably do not have closure when it comes down to this for those who this resonates with okay because someone's um maybe this is what the devil is the Capricorn energy Virgo Leo even as well You're making fair decisions, and I think, again, your intuition is really on point here. So if that's the change you want to make, Pisces, go for it, okay? If, if you feel good about it, then go ahead, okay? I love you guys. I will see you guys um, next week. <laughs>